You got the keys. The alarm code is my birthday. I guess that's everything. It's been pretty slow. You can just ask Jill if you have any questions. It shouldn't be too stressful. We can handle it. I'll miss you. It's only a few days. I just want to get this over with. Tell your sister I said hi. I can't wait to meet her. Hey, keep an open mind. Maybe she's grown up a bit. You guys need each other right now. What's with the bag? I was hoping you'd beg me to come with you. I love you. Love you. See you soon, handsome. Feel weird to be back? Start thinking about what you want to take with you. Don't forget Ernie's coming in the morning. Okay. Hey.
Oh thank God, I'm so hungry. Well, eat something. What did I get all that food for? It's better when you make it. You're ridiculous. Mm. How do you function, Lucy? What do you do when I'm not around? Dad sends me care packages. So what do you want? Mac and cheese or bacon? You don't know me. Yeah, I know you pretty well. Mac and cheese, coming up. With bacon. With bacon. Yum. I'm glad you like it. How's the store? It's good. You seen anyone? Nothing serious. Nothing serious? We unpack that for a minute? Come on, Lucy. I'm sorry. I'm trying. You're making me nervous. How am I making you nervous? I don't know. What about you? Are you seeing anyone? Nope. College boys don't like you? Plenty of boys like me, thanks. Shit. What's going on down there? Nothing. I think it's just the cheese. My stomach doesn't do that when I eat cheese. Yeah, well, you're probably not lactose intolerant. You have that? Is that a new thing? Is that why I used to shit your brains out when Dad took us for ice cream? Stop it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Doctor says it's gone undiagnosed for a while. Why are you still eating mac and cheese? Well, you asked me to cook it. That's part of it. And because I fucking like it. Can't you die from that? Can I die? No, it's a food allergy. Let's just change the subject. I think you should probably go eat something that your body's tolerant. Lucy, it's a fucking food allergy, all right? It thinks it can tell me what I can and can't eat, and I'm choosing to overcome it by ignoring it. So. Where'd you find that? What? That thing on your wrist. Mm. It's treasure hunt 04. What? It's my year of victory. Found it in my room. <coughs> what? What? You just did the one cough. I know that made you uncomfortable. <clears throat> Don't be a sore loser. I won that year. Yeah, the only year. A win is a win, loser. It was fixed. Fixed what? You're fixed. The hunt was fixed that year. Dad felt bad that you had never won before, so he rigged it. Dad wouldn't do that. Yeah, well, he did it. Why do you think the prize was a bracelet? You think I want a bracelet? Yeah, I think you want a fucking bracelet, homo. <laughs> oh, man. Fucking bot win is an early death, Ollie. Yeah, he had a lot of expressions, Lucy. Most of them were bullshit. You're s like, I don't even know why you're just like you, in. You sh oh like, man. So I don't you believe you. Believe that shit all night. Okay, you rigged it. What does that mean? He rigged it because he loves me and he wanted to see me happy. Fuck it. Fuck it.
So how long is this going to take, Ernie? I mean, is there something we need to sign to expedite the process, or...? Well, it kind of depends on you guys. I mean, if it's a question of, of selling or keeping the house, I guess we want to know how much he was leaving us first. Selling? Just let the grown-ups talk, Lucy. OK, so in regards to that, the deed to the house is in Oliver's name, but there's a stipulation that any proceeds of sale will be divided equally among the two of you. Why is he the deed person? We're not selling the house. He gave us enough to keep it, right? Well, again, that kind of depends on you guys. The money he left, he's been tied up in a... Okay, look, I'm not gonna bush you guys. You know your dad. He was a nut. And I mean that with the utmost respect. Great guy, but very much a crazy person. He left you this. Read it. You'll get it. You guys aren't idiots. Lying. Ernie, fuck you. Shut up, I'm not done. Don't shoot the messenger. I mean, is this even legal? Um, probably not. Ernie, fuck you. <laughs> Treasure hunt? Ernie, I mean, Oliver's gonna win. He's gonna get it all. No, Lucy, read the letter. It's two guys to do together. So there's no life insurance policy? Oh, well, there is. Big one. Well, treasure hunt. What the fuck? What about the house? Can we live here? No, we can't live here without that money. Why not? I mean, are you gonna pay the maintenance fees or property taxes? Are you gonna weatherproof it every winter, Lucy? These things don't magically happen. They cost some money. Well, who wrote the clues? What? Dad did. Where have you been the last 23 years? I don't know, Oliver. I just feel like I need to be asking questions right now. Well, how many clues are there? It's in the letter. I saw you guys reading it. Yeah, there's five, Oliver. Six. I mean, did you try to talk him out of it, Ernie? Did you, you tell him that this is real life? People don't do stuff like this. I did, and he said, and I quote, the world is full of magic things, patiently waiting for our senses to grow sharper. W.B. Yates. It's really beautiful, Dad. Yeah, that doesn't even apply here. Look, I need that money, man. I, I have a business to run and a baby. A, I, can't, a baby I can't babysit her. I can't babysit her. Fuck you, babysit. You're not the only one with stuff to do. I have stuff to do too, Oliver. I'm in school. Well, just tell us where it is, man. Cheater, don't tell him, Ernie. What are you doing? So we're good, right? No. no. Alrighty then. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. Look, your dad was a good guy. He was a good guy. Did you join a band or something? You look terrifying. Shut up, Alfred. She's in mourning, dude. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I guess people still do that. Check these out. Yeah, I really don't want to look at pictures right now. I want to see. Oh, these are cool. How'd you get Alagash to look like that? Oh, a photographer never reveals his secrets. Sepia. Why are you taking pictures of our house, man? Well, it's my job now. What? Yeah, I can't believe it either. My mom asked me to take a picture of Pointly Place for her birthday, and so uh, I did. And uh, she hung it in her living room, and her whole book club went nuts over it. And then just the word sort of spread, and the checks got written. There's uh, 342 homes on this island, and there's only four seasons. Well, you guys know that. And guess who's there to capture them all? I feel like I might slap you right now. Are you guys about repainting this room? It looked great in off-white. Let's read the first clue. I don't want to be here. 
why are you being pissy about this? This is exciting. He's left us a real adventure. It's awesome. How many square feet is that room? Just, can you just read the first clue? Like, they might not even be hard. Let's okay, just Lucy. read it. Okay, I'm gonna read it. All right. Guided by proclamation, without the whimsy of impulse, behind the palace where fools fall in love, dragons are slain, ships are sunk, where humans can sit wide-eyed and watch a world not entirely their own. What you got there? This is exciting. Why are you excited? You're not included. Hey. Come on, Lucy. Oh, you guys have to retile this kitchen. It's terrible. Dude, will you relax about the house stuff? Well, here's my offer. I'll buy it. But, but no, you guys have to meet me halfway and just fix a few of these little things I've been noticing. Seriously, get off me. Oh, our little cousin thinks he's gonna own Alagash Point. <laughs> I'm older than both of you. Oh, Alfred! Alfred! Alfred. <laughs> Where are you going, Alfred? <laughs> Why are we in here? Oh. Yeah, I thought it would be something on Dad's proclamation board. Lucy, he said behind the palace, not inside it. I mean, Christ, what do you think we're gonna do? Dig up the floor? I don't know. Is this the same movie theater? It looks shitty. You just sit on it. You're not even doing anything. You're just moving the dirt around. My arms are really tired. Oh, sit down. No. Just in the way. Yes. No. They're great. Oliver, you know Gary, right? Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you uh, had just left for BU when I moved in. Oh, OK. Uh, neighbor Gary, dad's fishing buddy. Well, uh, I went along for the stories, huh? Your dad was the fisherman. <laughs> that lasagna. Oh, I thought you guys could use a night off from cooking. It's uh, vegetarian. Oliver can eat it. Uh, we really appreciate it, Gary. Thank you. You want to join us? Oh, no, I got some things need doing. Aren't you unemployed? I'm retired, Lucy Dahl. Yeah, but that means that you don't have a job, right? Lucy, um, if it's not too much trouble, can you take this inside, please? Why are, why are you using Dad's dinner party voice? Thank you. So you're the one who found him. I did. of the sky and sea, indifferent where you lie or be, by sovereignty of nature the strong do win, but by human nature we help our kin. I think it's pronounced Pandion. Yeah? You know what it is? No, I have no idea. 
Then how do you know that I pronounced it wrong? Well, I don't know what it is. I can just tell that you're wrong. It's hard to explain. That's stupid. You're stupid. You're fucking stupid. This conversation is fucking stupid. I think it's Greek. What's Greek? Pandion. Yeah, I think it's a Greek term. Those, those words are kind of just engraved in my head. You remember um, Treasure Hunt 2000? Dad went nuts with the whole Greek theme. He built the um, altar in the sunroom. Is that when he made me cut my hair? Yeah, that was for sacrifice, though. We needed something for the gods. This tastes like shit. Yep. P, 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 P. Adults stick to paths. Children uninterested in the allure of destination tend to stray. Adults remain endlessly comfortable following the same trail hundreds of times. Maybe it never enters their minds to jump into puddles, to crawl amongst the roots of trees, to find the simple fascination in the flight of a bird. I love that. Where the hell is P? I, I, I hate it when you yell. It... Don't. Fuck this, man. What are you doing? You know what I'm doing. Stop. Hey. You can't, that, you can't cheat, that's cheating. Yeah, give me my we phone. We never use this kind of stuff. Remember, easy roads lead nowhere, are you crazy? Yeah, dad's dead, Lucy. Can you not be so parsimonious, Oliver? I mean, you were the one who was always so anal about following the rules. Give me my phone. No. Give me my fucking phone. No. Grow the fuck up and give me my phone. No. Give me my goddamn no. phone! No. Come on. Give me my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I win. Lucy. Mm. Lucy. Mm. I'm going for a run. Can you go into town and get some more boxes? What time is it? After nine. Mm. Wake me up when you get back. Get up. We got a lot of work to do today. Mm, no. You need my sleep. I'm super bitchy without it. Lucy! Lucy! Go away! Okay. Come under cover of night And I'll be waiting And I'll be biding my time Just to see you again Older brother? Yeah. It's Lucy Sinclair. You look different.
wearing? I want these coats. Hey, uh, do it. Do the thing. No. Come on, you're wearing it and everything. Suitors, my father shall rid thee of thy manhood if thou dost proceed. Dad's version of birth control. Yeah. Well, at work, they've never been knocked up. Where have you been? Solve the second clue. Here, I'm naked. Well, put, put your clothes on. Why? So it's easier for you to yell at me? What the bothers me? You've taken like a million baths together. Not in the last 20 years. Who cares? You solved the clue without me? Yeah, you're welcome. I'm not, no, I'm not thanking you. This is something that we're doing together. It's not your thing to Lucy, just go and solve. you sleeping. I was sleeping? Yeah. Wake me up, Oliver. Oh my God. I thought you'd be happy. You didn't have to do anything. <laughs> oh my God. This is, this is ours. It belongs to both of us. You had no right to... I can contribute, too. Cool it with a melodrama, okay? You want to know how I figured it out? No. Sky and sea. I found Pandion in that bird book Dad used to I always don't carry. Care. Well, apparently it's the genus of a bird named after some Greek king or something. That's why Dad said Pandion in the sky and sea. What he's really saying is king of the sky and sea. And the second part, indifferent where you lie or be, is specific to the osprey because they can live on any continent as long as they're near the ocean. So I found the clue with that old osprey nest on Pequot. Yeah, I thought this was a pretty good one. The last part is about their kids. They lay like three eggs, but they don't hatch all at once. The ones that hatch first grow up really strong and let the younger ones starve. Survival of the fittest. You want the rest of my potatoes? Arthur Holden, as you may understand. I was born ten miles from Dublin town, down on the salt sea strand. When I was young and calmly sure, I could fortune on me sure. My parents loved me tenderly. For I was their only son. My father, he rose up one day, and with him I did go. He bound me as a butcher's boy to pierce an outwick loyal. I wore the bloody apron there for three long years and more till I shipped on board of the Ocean Queen belonging to Tremont
You shouldn't be in here. Yeah, you're probably right. You want to get drunk? I feel like I'm going to get this one. Let me see this thing for a second. Let me see it. Oh, man. You can just hear the condescension. Everything always had to be so grand with him. I love that about him. You did? The pocket watch? The pirate gold? The switchblade razor? The tower of contemplation? Contemplation, oh my gosh. Every time we got in trouble. I know, right? I know, who does that? Like, ground me, whip me, for God's sake. Don't send me up to the attic. I don't know, I'd, I'd pretend that he was a witch and I was a princess. Who was a witch, Dad? Yeah. A male witch? Yeah. Okay, keep and going. Well, he hunted me from my magic eyes. I had these eyes, and every time you looked into them, you could see into the future. And so I'd hide in that crawl space in the attic, like in the bathroom. And I'd like, <coughs> yeah, I found your pornos in there. It was very eye-opening. Awesome. Yeah. Anyways, I would wait for like an army of animals to come and fight in my name because I was their prince. How'd that work out for you, Luce? You're no fun. All right, what I remember is getting in trouble on purpose and being sent up there to keep you company so you wouldn't have to be up there alone. You are the one that needed someone to play with. <laughs> mm. I haven't thought about the tower in forever. Yeah, you'd forget all this shit if it weren't for me. My face is your remember all. My what? It's from Harry Potter. Oh, shoot. I gotta take this. Hello? Tell them I was going to be back on Tuesday? Yes. He said this isn't the first time. Are we okay? Yeah, that's nothing. I, I sent him a check. He must have just lost it. It's a pretty big check to lose. <laughs> Tony's always on me. I... It's nothing to worry about. He said he's not going to let it slide another month. Have you not been paying the rent? I've been paying the rent, Susan. Will you stop? Just what exactly happened? I came into the store, Ollie. I was with a customer. It wasn't good. What do you want me to say, Susan? We're fine. How are things going with Lucy? Is she excited to be an aunt? Are you still there? Yeah. She's jazzed. Look, I gotta go, though, all right? Um, I'll call you later. I love you. Okay. You made these? Where did you find all these people? They're lovely. I mean, I never, I never thought Oliver would see it as such a betrayal, you know? Because, I mean, our dad always said our mom wasn't worth a dime of our thoughts, and then he just goes and hunts her down anyway. And now there's all this tension between us, and I don't know whether to apologize or not, because it's like, I mean, it's been a year. <laughs> it's been more than a year. I don't understand why you have to apologize for something that happened so long ago, and I don't know. I, sometimes things seem fine, and I thought this hunt would bring us closer together, but it's like we just fall, we fall right back into it again. That's stupid, huh? You're not stupid. Didn't you want to find her, too? Mm -mm. No. I mean, she left when I was a baby, and it really hurt my dad, so... I don't know. I don't want to know someone who would do that. And I don't really remember her. I think Oliver does, though. I don't know. He doesn't really stop to talk about stuff. Got good eyes. I need for you.
for your thoughts, Dad. All right. Well, I will give you mine, but you owe me a quarter. Let me get you uh, set up here first. I didn't want to be the, the one to have to tell you this, but um, the whole the whole bookstore thing, it's just, it might not work out. It's been kind of going downhill for a little while now. I don't know, I don't know what to say, you know? Uh, <laughs> people just aren't <laughs> digging it, I guess. But I know what you always said to me. You always say consensus leads to mediocrity. So if if everybody dug it down, then it would just be another mediocre place, right? <laughs> this is this is why I didn't want to tell you this. This is. You know what, you could always tell me that I can tell you anything, but that's fucking bullshit, you know? What you mean is, is anything as long as it's not bad, Oliver. Well, you know what? Fuck that, because sometimes things are bad. They just are, and, and it would be nice if I could walk into a room and be like, hey, Dad, um, I had a really hard day today, and not and not feel like I was like letting you down or something. Like I'm, I'm ruining this idealized fantasy of what my life was supposed to be like. Or I, I don't even know, that doesn't even make sense. could have told me about the first one. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know what? You're gonna be a grandfather. So there's that. I thought you might wanna know that. Cheers. I wish these clues weren't so complicated because I never can get them. Oliver always gets them. I guess it's, of course, they were complicated because my dad made them and he was the smartest guy ever. And he was just the only person in the world who ever thought it was sensational. Like, I would... I would dance around all the time and be hyper and stuff and like complain about Mrs. Robertson and how she just obviously had it out for me in math and he wouldn't tell me to grow up or get used to it or anything. He would just, he'd go, plant your butt in that seat, Lulu, and we'll just sit here for a while. <laughs> Can't do an impression of him. <laughs> but I mean, you know, we would, we would do that. We would just sit there in silence and and just be together. I really loved it. I hated Mrs. Robertson. Bitch. Hmm. What about you? Are you any good at puzzles? <laughs> Navigate through, bleak and long. Just a tool, it can still lead wrong. For you're the master in control. It's up to you to reach your goal. Instinct to be your guide, steady and true. It will tell you what to say and do. Ship wheel. Yeah, that's not... Wait.
your breathing changed. Come on, that shit doesn't work on me. I solved the clue. Princess Lulu had his little girl. Who's Susan? Don't look at my phone, dude. It rang like five times. Daddy Oliver, huh? What the hell, man? Are you going through my pictures, too? Fellow photographer. That's big news. Why didn't you tell me? You're supposed to keep it private until they're further along. Well, she looked extremely pregnant. Will you stop, man? I'm just trying to expand my portfolio. You have a neat face. Hey, listen. We can't tell Lucy about that, okay? Yeah, family secrets. I can dig it. What do you need, Alfred? Um, did you guys finish the treasure hunt yet? No, man, we're still working on it. Oh, is that water damage? We're not gonna sell you the house, man. Okay. You couldn't afford it anyway. <laughs> Oller. Don't call me that. Ollerkins. Yeah, definitely don't call me that. Okay, were you, were you not listening when I informed you guys of my extremely lucrative photography ventures? No, I was, but you know what? Lucy would have a conniption if you owned Allagash. Well, why are you doing her any favors? I mean, isn't she the one that spilled the beans about your mom hunt? How do you know about that? Because we're blood, Big O. Negative. It's a blood type joke. Yeah, I get it. We're not gonna sell, man. Yeah, but isn't that why you're here? We get rid of the stuff that you're not gonna keep. Ready? Alfred. Hey. So you figured it out, huh? Yep. What did our cheeky cousin want? Nothing. Technology, right, Luce? I sit unnoticed among brothers old and young, despite the gumption that lies within. You know, I feel like this isn't right. The dream tree is so sacred, a dad wouldn't use it in a hunt. No, Lucy, it all fits, all right? A tree can sit in the middle of the forest among old trees and new ones, and no one's gonna notice if it's a little bit special. It would be so cool to just live out here in the grass for like a month. Just live in the grass. What'd you say, you think it would be cool? Yeah, to live out here for a month. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that would be cool at all. Maybe not. So Ollie, you go ahead and then when you get back here, then I'll go after you, look around, <laughs> see what's the what. Are you serious? What? I can't go there with you, then my dreams will get released from the tree. So you still want Tim Hayes to deflower you at prom? No, I don't want Tim Hayes to deflower me at prom, Oliver. But he's a doctor, so I will sleep with him as he is now. Come on, Lucy, let's... I can't, if you don't go there alone, your dreams get released from the tree. It just like... It is not real! All right, Dad made it up. He didn't want to hear about our problems, so he sent us out here to talk to a fucking tree. I mean, it's not magical, it's... Bad parenting. God, I thought that you wanted to solve this together. Fuck. Wait. 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 Wait.
embarrassed. Yeah, you should be. But at least it happened with me. Someone is never gonna let you forget it. Should we tell Gary that his food sucks? I think that would be horribly rude. Well, I think it's rude that we keep letting him make it and then we just hate it when we eat it. God, I thought for sure it was there. Dad wouldn't send us there together. He'd never ask us to jeopardize our dreams. Well, I'm glad one of us gets him. Got him. You know, I must have gone to that tree a hundred times. Always by myself. And not one of my dreams ever came true. Well, maybe there was a squirrel or a deer listening or something. The forest is always alive. I'm gonna go do something productive. I genuinely did not see that coming. We're only taking stuff we need, Lucy. I need these. I'm in college, Oliver. Yeah, you keep saying that. It's not a positive thing to still be an undergrad after five years. Well, I enjoy learning, asshole. We're only taking stuff we need. You don't need, I mean, what are you gonna do with all that stuff? You live in a dorm. Can you stop judging me just because your father left you a huge house to live in with lots of shelf space? Passive aggression looks really good on you. And you're a parsimonious fool, Oliver. You haven't once used that word correctly. How do you use it then? It means frugal. You don't know what frugal means, do you? Why don't you look it up in your dictionary? Don't throw books, Lucy. You have no respect for books. Hm. I'm fucking serious. To you, this is just a story. You know what? An author spends time crafting and perfecting this until someone along the way tells them it's shit. They aren't good enough. They, they have to go through months, years of wondering if it's even worth it. If anyone will ever read this goddamn thing. Maybe they have a family to feed, Lucy. Maybe, maybe they have bills they can't pay. Maybe they're on the verge of eviction if they don't sell this goddamn book. You know, and, and, and maybe, maybe they die waiting for someone to read, just, just read one of their, their unpublished novels. You know, their symphony of words. All that just to have some impudent child throw it in a tantrum because she's too fucking ignorant to form a sentence. Open the door. Sorry, 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 sorry. Open the door. No, you're gonna hurt me. I'm not gonna hurt you. Open the door. I'm not opening the door. Why don't you just sleep on it? Lucy, listen to me for a second. Shut up. All right, I found the clue. No. What do you mean, no? I found the, I found it. It's a trick. You're tricking me. I'm not tricking you. Please just open the door. I swear to God, I'm not gonna hurt you. Lucy. Well, books are made from trees, so you're kind of close. And it's a math this time. Dad's getting fancy. Spire, confess. Oh, dang it. Um, Spark. Ow, no. <laughs> <laughs> Spire, confess. Confess. I <laughs> stole socks out of your suitcase this morning. Don't go in my suitcase. I'm sorry. I don't know why I did that. I mean, if you need socks, I can get you socks. No, I have socks. I just, yeah. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Just don't do that. Okay. <laughs> Inspire, confess. I lied when I said dad fixed the hunt that year. I wanted that bracelet.
was mom like? She was horrible. didn't want to leave you this in a voicemail. Okay. Um, they sealed up the bookstore, Ollie. Tony says we're evicted. So, just call me when you can. a familiar sight. <laughs> Morning. Thought you were my dad for a second. Thought I might be going nuts. <laughs> you know, he always gave me free reign here. I, I hope it's OK. Yeah, yeah, you're fine, Gary. Insanely good lasagna, so we owe you. <laughs> Why don't you uh, pull up a rock here? I haven't quite gotten used to being out here alone yet. linen closet it was a hot spot for clues all through my teens dad thought the folds were really secretive the sheets lots of places to slip things in I guess keep in mind we're each about eight beers into our respective twelvers it was pitch black that night couldn't see a damn thing I start heading up to the house and walk right off the dock. <laughs> Middle of December, it's freezing. I come up, I hear a splash. You get hit with a fresh wave of water, right smack in the face. And I know your dad is in. <laughs> I start swimming to shore, only to hear, I got you, Gary. I'm coming for your friend. And I'm trying to tell him I'm fine, but I keep choking on all the goddamn water he splashed in my face. <laughs> and finally, he gets to me. He starts dragging me in, but he's dunking me as well, because he's so goddamn drunk. <sighs> Some bitch damn near drowned me, saved my life. Yeah, he had a hero complex, that's for sure. Talking about a man that convinced himself he robbed a pirate ship in the 60s. If you invest enough of your life in the stories, you start thinking that's how life should be. If there wasn't a fairy tale ending, Robert Sinclair did not want to hear about it. Well, you know, you don't take. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Hey, now! <laughs> hey, don't fall in again, Gary. Yeah, give me a little elbow room. You can check this out. Secret hideout in there. Yeah, when I was in princess mode, I'd, I'd hide in there. This is a painting. It was painted a long time ago because it's always been on this wall. You know, I should just cave to Alfred. I should. She just 
Lucy has no respect for money or anything for that matter. You know, she's always been taken care of. Dad's always supported her. It's gonna be a rude wake-up call when I go back home and she she finally realizes he's gone. And Christ, if we can't find this treasure, I mean, forget about it. Don't worry so much. You guys are on the same team. No. Uh, no, we're really not. No. Never have been. No, I don't believe that for a sec. Not the way Robert spoke. I just don't believe that. No, she was always on his team. I mean, she made me feel like I was, like, betraying the family or something for wanting to go find our mother. You know about this? Yeah, she went running to him as soon as I told her. Like I had, like, murdered someone or something. And, of course, he didn't get mad. You know, he never really got mad about anything. I mean, fuck, Gary, that's, that's a natural thing, you know, to want to know who your mother is, to want to meet her. I, I shouldn't feel bad about that. And Lucy created that, you know, she drove that wedge and she should have just kept her mouth shut. I'm sorry, I just unloaded on you. <laughs> no apologies necessary. Sometimes secrets are easier told to a stranger's ears. Is that one of my dad's? <laughs> That's one of mine. <laughs> what can I say, man? She's a sister. Yeah. All right. Hey. I like you. Good luck. Huh? Need to start coming out here all the time. What's in this one? I don't go in there. How did he die? A heart attack. It was his second. He didn't tell us about the first. I think that Oliver's mad at him. What are you doing? Don't. Just a room. Fuck you, it's just a room. What do you know about it? So what, you're never gonna go in there again? I don't know. Fucking say something. Just leave. Go. No, 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 don't, don't put this shit on me, man. You told him you'd think about it? No, Lucy, I was trying to get him to leave. Well, if that chance of that. I didn't know he was gonna start bringing over swatches. I have to know if my stuff matches. Alfred, you're not getting the house, not just Oliver's decision anyways. Actually, it is just my decision. Oh, okay, well, only in like a legal way. I, I just, you should think about what this money could do for you and, and for your kid. What are you talking about? I mean, Oliver is like the least likely of the two of us to have our kids. Can you imagine? He'd be like, oh, I need help with my homework. And he'd be like, oh, well, I did it already, and I did a better job than you would have done. <laughs> I mean, you're not, Alfred, you're not going to eat in our kitchen and bathe in our tub and sleep in our room. You're not doing that. Well, I've already done all those things. Get out. Just fucking get out of here. I mean, what are you even doing? You're, like, should be solving the treasure on the holy open houses with Alfred. What do you want me to do, Lucy? Throw him out the window? Okay, I'm your family. You're better than that. Oh, you were adopted. Was he? No. Well, you know, I might as well be with the way you guys treat me. Alfred. No, just stop it.
you know, I'm making money now and I can afford this house, but it doesn't seem like whatever I do, you guys will take me into this family. You know, I just want you to take me seriously. Alfred, you know we're never gonna take you seriously. I know. We're not all that bad, man. Remember, um, remember your 12th birthday and, and, and dad let you, uh, he let you go on the treasure hunt with us? He almost set you on fire with the sparklers? He, he wouldn't have done that if you weren't part of this family, man. Yeah, Uncle Robert was always really nice to me. That's what you get for being born on 4th of July. That was fun. Behold the goddess of family, a love that broke on the rocks. All right, so I think the goddess of family is referring to um, Hestia. Is that another Greek one? Yeah, she's considered the first and last born of the Olympians. How do you know so much? I read. First and last. Well, you're the first and I'm the last, so it's both of us. Yeah. Maybe he's talking about us as the thing that broke on the rocks. Maybe. Maybe it's something literal that broke. Like a, just like a ship, like a, sh a shipwreck. Oh, like the lighthouse. No, it's not the lighthouse. Can you not snap at me? I'm allowed to suggest things. I'm Irish. That has nothing to do with being able to suggest things. Yes, it does. Dad always said that Irish women were traditionally strong and bold with powerful instincts, so I'm trusting mine. Lucy, will I'm you going... stop preaching about Dad? It's driving me fucking crazy, all right? Someone's jealous. Oh, my God. I'm so stupid. What did you say? That's what it is. It's it's a shipwreck. But it's not Greek. It's Irish. The um, the Irish goddess of family is Nantasweta. Okay, you remember the freighter that wrecked in the 60s? Yeah, that, that was the, the pirate ship that Dad stole gold from. You still believe that? Yeah, agree to disagree. So what was the second part of the clue? Did look, someone love the ship a lot? Brea means love. Nana Brea. I think it happened over here, Lucy. I bet it's here. I bet it's here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just excited. Well, don't get too excited. We haven't found it yet. I have to pee. Are you kidding me? Why didn't you go at the house? I didn't have to go then. I'll, I can hold it. Go OK. For it. You go. Go and then, you know, I'll just, I'll, I can watch you. You said you wanted to contribute. This is your time to contribute. I just think you do a better job. All right, hold this. Die in March. It's freezing in there. So it wasn't there? I didn't see anything. I'll try. Lucy, it might not be in there. No, I want to try though. Lucy, come back here. You're gonna get pneumonia. It might not be out there. Holy 
shit, she found it. not just happen, Lucy. That did not just happen. Are you fucking kidding me? Go get it. Go get it. It's gone. Why? Do you, do you do this shit on purpose? Are you fucking mentally challenged? I swear to God, it's like you look for every opportunity imaginable to try to fuck up my life. It was an accident. Oh, oh, oh an accident. Oh, there's always some victim card, doe-eyed explanation for everything. You're a fucking sabotager, Lucy. I can't be with you for a week without you destroying something that I care about. What did I ruin that you care about? Dad! You destroyed everything with him. I spent the last year of my life trying to redeem myself. You were just so self-indulgent, Ollie. He was not mad that you went to see Mom. No, no, he wasn't mad, Lucy. He was sad and confused. He fucking looked at me differently. Which, you know what, you wouldn't know shit about to have dad look at you differently, like he doesn't know who you are. And I wanted to do something, you know, I want to do something to make him proud and... And then he goes and fucking dies. So you know what, Lucy, fuck you. Fuck you for all that. You can't, you, there's no way that you can blame me for that, I mean, I... I feel like the, nothing that I say right now is going to be right. I mean, what do you want me to say? I can't lie to him, Ollie. He asked me where you were, and I told him, and it run up to him, like, twirling my mustache, cackling about all the havoc I was going to cause between you guys. Can you, just, can you just tell me what you want me to say? Tell me what you want me to say, and I'll say that. Maybe you can just say goodbye. Because you're smart that everything you say is right, but that's not, that's not, that's not right. You can go ahead and be mad at me though, because like, I'm mad at myself already all the time. But I'm your sister and you love me whether you like it or not. It's fucking science. Can you just forgive your father for dying already? I don't think I want you in my life anymore. You must be Lucy. It's Susan, Oliver's girlfriend. What? Why don't I, I'll just come inside. Sorry. I'll just... Oliver! Ollie! Oliver's dating a pregnant girl. Oh, Susan. I'm gonna be an aunt? 
No, you're not gonna be anything, Lucy. I'm gonna be a father. I can't believe you didn't tell your sister. And you're gonna stay the hell away from my kid. Why? Because you're poisoned! Oliver, God! You know what? I'm already gonna be garbage enough as a yeah, father you're without you. you're gonna be garbage you. father. Lucy. Your kid's gonna come out of the womb just like punching stop stuff it. and it's okay, gonna have little it. fucking stress right. balls Wait. instead of teddy Keep bears. Talking. Stop it. Keep what talking. is wrong with her? You know what? This is why you're alone, Lucy. You're crazy. And you, you try to sing your kid a lullaby and it's probably gonna punch you in the tit. Okay, well, it's a girl. Oh, really? Congratulations. Wait, what? Yeah, I found out yesterday. Susan. Hello? Why didn't you tell me? Why would I tell you? We're not close, Luce. Do you guys still want to order that pizza, or do we want to just do our own thing tonight? here for a little while. Hey. You're really beautiful. I'd just like to sit here with you for a while. I can't believe I used to fit in that. Did you think if you didn't say it out loud, it wouldn't be a real thing? Your sister had no idea who I was. What do you want me to say, Susan? I mean, you met her. Yeah, she's intense. But you can't really blame her, can you? It's like you make every effort possible to not include people in your life. That's ridiculous. I am not ridiculous. I am embarrassed. Why? I don't know. I just had this idea of how things would go when I got here. I thought I'd come and take care of things and be this great girlfriend, be there for you and your sister. I mean, God, we're about to be bonded together for life. I know that. Yeah. You know what the idea of having the kid with me is like. But I can see this fear in your eyes the closer we get. Things are different, and I, I sensed it before I even got here. And, and now you not telling Lucy is like, wow, I really can't ignore this anymore. So 
actually kind of crippling because I gave you an out. I said in the beginning that you didn't have to be involved. I, oh, I don't want that, all right? I, 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 my father just died, Susan. I'm sorry if I haven't been the okay, most but pleasant it's been person going to be on before all of this. I'm sorry, but it has. Can you acknowledge that? Can you please acknowledge I that I- I acknowledge that, all right? I acknowledge the fact that I've been distant with you. I acknowledge the fact that I'm probably gonna be a shitty father. All right, I acknowledge the fact that I didn't speak to my own father the last six months he was alive. Okay, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, well, I didn't have anything good to tell him, all right? And I didn't think that he gave a shit anyway. And it turns out, you know what? He did, he did give a shit. He just didn't know how to tell me. And now I can't let him know, Susan. I can't let him know that I know that he fucking gave a shit. And I'm fucking terrified. I'm terrified that you and I are gonna bring a child into this wicked fucking world and she's not gonna have a father she can come to when things go bad because maybe I'm like my dad, you know? Maybe I can't communicate with her what a shit I give. Okay. Let's call it with the melodrama. Oh, God. I'm a new parent, too. I'm scared, too. I had a glass of wine the other night and then I had another one. I'm already a shitty mom. We can be bad parents together. You know, if we love this kid, it'll be fine. We'll figure it out. We can do better. it in my hand. I was this close to it, and now it's just, like, gone. Now that, that's one hell of a story. My dad was the storyteller. No. He had an advantage. You two kids gave him some great material. <laughs> you beat yourself up over that note. Well, it's just like me. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for keeping me company. No, it's OK. Listen, uh, there's something I want to show you. go in here. Yeah. I know what you mean. It uh, doesn't feel right. Dude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Such a dope. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Uh, Susan, uh, I just want to mention that uh, I think you really bring out Oliver's eyes. I've never seen them so blue. No, That's really. really <laughs> I know. And, um, you know, now that we're all in such a good mood, I uh, drew up some preliminary documents. Um, you know, just a handshake gentleman's agreement, um, but they are notarized and legally binding. Uh, Fred, I don't think Oliver has agreed to anything. Let me see it. Ooh. What is that? 
Oh, you didn't think your dad's gonna leave you without a backup plan, did you? I'll let you search this room, though. Tape under the drawer. That's some CIA shit there. <laughs> your dad read it in a spy book once. Now, he turned me on to the classics. I turned him on to Tom Clancy. <laughs> Were you and my dad together? Well, like, boyfriends. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Right after my Angie passed away, your father brought me over pasta that first night and told me this long-winded story about a truck driver who lost both thumbs and how hard life was on him because of that. But somehow this guy managed, huh? He did just fine. You just, you just gotta keep in the road. Your dad said. You know, there's something about meeting a good person in a time of tragedy, you know? Lucy Doll. We just kind of stuck together. And I don't know about all that whole boyfriend business, but your dad is my best friend. a lot of paperwork, Alfred. Come on, man. I'm sorry, I just, uh... It looked like you were gonna say yes, and I wanted to capture the moment. What's the right thing here? I don't know. I mean, I think you should talk to your sister first. I don't think you really need to include her in this, because you're the one driving the go-kart, and... I mean, I think you could just do it. You know, do it for the baby. Lucy deserves a say. A say in what? Alfred, come help me with dessert. There's dessert? No, come. Is that the... What's it gonna be like when you have no one to remember with? It's just a house, Lucy. Yeah. Remember when we dared Alfred to jump off this? Yeah, I would have died. He'll probably want to jump off now on his own accord. But he'll have to get our...
thousand years old, but I'll never know of like you. No ground to stand on, no other heart to grasp, to call my own. We ride all night, we sleep all day, we cannot fight, don't know the way, we stay Lost all sight of the world.